hello and welcome to my channel my name is Julie um, I'm going to show you today how to put one of these together it's the seasonal shop window die set from Tonic Studios and you've got three themes on here to choose from um, you've got a flower shop and autumn and fun in the sun and as you can imagine there's like flowers um, things for the garden um, falling leaves for autumn a pumpkin and then um, fun in the sun you've got things like um, a parasol beach ball bucket spade a kite could be for light in the sun as well there's a cute little open sign all in all you've got 52 dies in here right let's place that over there um, so I've already cut out the main die and I've stuck some things on already one tip um, Jodie did say is when you get oh I've stuck up to me thing I'm not having a very good day today when you've cut out this one which makes your window is to place it on your backing paper and to mark where your windows are going to be and I've just placed four little pencil lines so you know where to put your things inside your window and also with like these ones you can also put a little bit of acetate behind so it does look like you've got a, a shop you know a window a proper window and I've done that one that's a flower shop and then I had a um, a set from a magazine and um, it had like these little books and you could cut them out with them um, dies and this bit in here was an embossing folder so I cut that out it had that stamp and I cut it in half <laughs> I know it sounds a but I wanted it so like the the next and then the chapter was underneath <laughs> so that's what I done because <laughs> it was all one in one long line but hey it's all right it'll probably go in one line you can line it up on the on the block can't you or a platform or something I know it's a bit naughty but that's what I've done right so let's go back to this autumn one I've decided to do it in brown for like autumn and lots of oranges and things like that another tip is to cut out like the wheelbarrow and the like I decided to emboss this one and it hasn't come up very well it sort of pressed it into the die and yeah it don't look right <laughs> but if you do emboss the pumpkins as well you get um, a nice um, deboss on there and an emboss as well so um, and the wheelbarrow and I've done the brake and I've used a, a silver one of these pens I'm trying to um, hide up the name there you go you see the shape of the pen you'll know which pens I mean and because um, I think those are usually like either black or silver aren't they and I've done the same with the wheelbarrow I've coloured it with marker pens because you can get all different colours of wheelbarrows these days and I've done a black wheel and a, where I thought the metal bits might be um, and the pumpkins I coloured all the pumpkins and the top piece of the pumpkin um, that does come out and like this one here so what I done was I um, put a piece a little piece of card on the back and just stuck it on there and kept that piece in so it gives you the full pumpkin and and just the shape where it would have been so that's those and I've just coloured these, I've coloured these in with marker pens so alcohol marker pens whatever pens you've, whatever pens you've got or it could be pencils, whatever um, these dinky little, I love these dinky little signs, look and I've just gone over with a, a white pen to make those, um, gives a chalkboard effect um, 
and these are the little leaves you get in the set as well and I've just cut those out of different um, coloured card because you do get some greeny leaves in autumn time but they're sort of a, they are sort of this colour so because they're um, dying off aren't they they're all withering away the trees need to make new again for the following season and then I've done that as well so I've cut this some um, shape it's like the arch and I've cut that three times one in red one in black one in this yellow color and the yellow color and the black I've cut the detail into and then stuck those together and then stuck on the red so it makes the lettering stand out a bit right so Let's glue this back panel onto the back. Oh, and the other thing is I need to mention, this shape, instead of going that way round, you need to bring it this way round. So when you bend these over like that, these will be, you'll have your right side facing. I know this bottom piece is going to be the wrong side of your, of your die cut when you usually um, do it. But it does make it look nice when you've and to be honest if you do cover this over you don't have to use pattern papers by the way um you can there is a oh blimey me there is this one to go in the middle but to get those ones i drew round the inside of the main die i'll just get it i'll show you what i mean So I just just go. I just drew around the inside of there, and you do have to trim it down a little bit because when you anything you do with a pencil, it does make it a little bit larger than it's. A, and you might find you just have to trim down to make it the same depth as, as this one, but it's only a, few, a couple of millimeter. That's all you're trimming off. So that goes around that way. Um, yeah, and I've put red liner tape on the back of there and that I go down like that right. and then when you fold that up that'll be the right, the right, the right way round can't get me words out there right. let's stick this down this backing paper I mean um, you could have if it, you've got um, oh I don't know stamps of little baby images or you could have a baby shop couldn't you a new baby thing or you know some stamps like I've done on that other one that next chapter one that is what I've done with that I actually drew round the inside of one piece and cut it round or was it the outside i done it was something like that I done. So I've got the gold on you know underneath the cream. Right. Now I've already laid these up and I've worked out that you can get three pumpkins on. So you can see the little marks and come over a little bit. They look as though they're sitting on a shelf. There you go. So it's like you've got your pumpkins in the in the window. And I've already got some red liner tape on these flaps and the pokey tool. No, oh, hold on. I need to put this on first as well, don't I? That needs to need to have that quite flat, otherwise it's not going to stick on. Sorry. So they just got no glue. Just going to glue this down. Otherwise, it'll be in mid air because this makes the middle piece. And then you'll be trying to um, trying to put it on, and you won't 
I suppose you could, but you'll be going, because it's stuck to the actual bottom piece, you'll be going like this to try and press it on. So it's easier to do it when it's flat because you can really press into your table. Right, let's just have a look to see, um, make sure I'm doing it right. That's it. I like to bring it up to this, there's a score line there where it's going to bend. So I'm going to bring this up to that score line. It's really warm today. It's warm, the sun's out, but there's a cold wind because um, I'm on the east coast of um, UK and it blows off the Atlantic there. So I want to bring it level there. So I'll take the stick here for this one. Yes, yeah, so even though indoors is okay, but when you're outside and you're not in the sun, and there was a frost this morning as well. Not nice. Well, I'll say not nice. It looked nice. And then you're going to bring it up. I find this bit a bit fiddly. So I know that bit's got to be there. So, hmm. Can't do it like that. So you're bringing it over to the next score line. Sorry, I can't really. That's it. So you're bringing it up to that one there. Press down. No, I've got it in the wrong position. It's. that one. Hang on, let's see if I can get this off. Sometimes if you're careful. I think I've done I've done that on one of those. See the little scissors. Let's just push that down. So it's coming up. So that's that score line there inside. I still haven't got it right. So I want it level. That's it. Yeah, you want it level. Right, that's it. Now you're going to bring this one over. It's a bit fiddly and it's hard to show as well. I'm, I'm hoping you got that. So now you're just going to bring this one in and close up that. And I like to put tape on these so I can bend them over because I think it looks pretty when it's folded down but you don't have to it's up to you if you want to my fingers don't want to work 
I'm not happy with that middle piece. <laughs> I'm going to be pulling it out. <laughs> oh, Lordy. I think it's because I'm trying to do a video to show you guys and oh, I think it's just the pressure of the video making. <laughs> oh dear, right. There, now. Uh, I want the um, farm shop to be hanging sort of there maybe. And I've got pick your own pumpkins on the other side. Or, and then I thought maybe the wheelbarrow could come there. And I've got more pumpkins to put on. But I also want to have the rake on as well. But I want to put some leaves in the rake. But right, let's, um, let's do this. Put my glasses on so I can see how much. Put a bit down through the middle, a bit up there. <coughs> Which side? I don't. Doesn't matter. I was playing about to try and get the picky one in the middle, but we'll, we'll do it like that. Uh, when I was playing around with these, I think you could get like maybe three in there. Just um, you can see where I've done it, um, where I've coloured in. I don't want them. Just do it from the other side so I can see what I'm doing. It might be a better idea, might not it? behind it's this see Let's put some behind as well. <laughs> I don't know, it might be overload on pumpkins. Right. Well, we can always have pumpkin pie. Let's just put some 3D foam on the back. go too far down.
that don't look too bad. Right. I think I might have to glue that um on um so what I wanna do is I just wanna um maybe put some of oh This is what happens because my fingers don't um <laughs> they're not very agile my fingers and I start dropping things right thing is if I didn't craft my fingers would be a lot worse uh, never mind I like the idea of the leaves being tossed about by the wind and let's put the red one on the top shall we I'm just over so you know like when you've raked up all the leaves that's what I wanted it to look like I might put um, a sort of a maybe a green one down there as well. Let's pop it that way. Right, and then I want to put some of these. It's up a yellow one. I love autumn. I like seeing all the all the different colours. So I'm going to stick one there. I might move it along a bit. Oh, doing it wrong side.
there. I quite like that. Tape don't want to stick down. How's that? That looks quite pretty, doesn't it? I like that. Oh, I haven't tried the seaside one yet because uh, I've done the um, the bookshop and I think probably if you've got like spiders or um, I was thinking Halloween you could do things for um, that as well and I was thinking about um, you could definitely do one for Christmas couldn't you because I think I know somewhere in my stash I've got some little tiny jingle bell things and I think you can get lots of that um, around Christmas time can't you? you can see you can see lots of little things so there's the um, autumn one that's the flower shop one and um, and that one is the bookshop one I think oh they're so cute I really like them and I was measuring up um, before I started the video and these will um, they fold flat and they will go into a 6x6 six six envelope and it gives you <coughs> enough room in there doesn't it and you've even got like a little um, die in there to fit like a um, gift card in I think that's what that one's for um, and I like that little sign as well. That oh, I like that. This one here, I like that. It's really nice. But I decided to do it um, another way for this for this one. And this is another one I like. This little die, I like that as well. It's different signposts. Um, Tonic did do one with a with the elf at Christmas. If you've got that little elf you had to build up, um, they've done sim uh, something similar to that as well. I think it's a bigger one though, and my memory serves me right. I'm not going to fish it out. <laughs> anyway, that's enough for me. Keep rambling on. I hope that helps. If you get stuck and you didn't watch Jodie on the TV, I hope that helps. And I'll see you again really soon. Bye-bye for now.